My name is uh, Dr. David Kimi, and uh, my research focuses on uh, uh, cognitive dysfunction in people with schizophrenia. In order to address these uh, uh, cognitive difficulties, uh, our group uh, tried a new approach focusing on a uh, uh, protein in the brain called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, uh, or PDNF in short. And this protein is very interesting because it's uh, heavily involved in brain plasticity. Um, and uh, also, it tends to increase in blood circulation in response to physical activity. Uh, so our, we hypothesize that uh, if we uh, ask participants with schizophrenia to exercise to increase their activity level, um, their uh, uh, cognitive functioning will uh, improve as well. To test this hypothesis, we randomize participants with schizophrenia to either uh, get standard uh, clinical care, psychiatric clinical care, or attend a 12-week, three times a week aerobic exercise training program um, in addition to the regular care. The participants in the aerobic exercise program uh, used uh, active play video games such as an Xbox Connect, uh, as well as traditional exercise equipment such as a treadmill, um, elliptical machine, etc. And uh, we assessed uh, everybody's uh, BDNF level as well as their cognitive functioning and uh, aerobic fitness uh, before the study and after 12 weeks. Our results indicate that the participants in the aerobic exercise group uh, increased their aerobic fitness by uh, about 18% versus uh, virtually no change in the control group. And uh, more importantly, they increased their cognitive functioning by uh, about 15% on average versus a small decline in the control group. And uh, changes in cognitive functioning were associated with both uh, changes in aerobic fitness as well as BDNF, which uh, uh, give preliminary support to our hypothesis. Our results are important for a number of reasons. Uh, first, um, they offer a new strategy to address cognitive difficulties in people with schizophrenia. Uh, and this strategy is particularly important given that uh, the current strategies that we have, such as medication and cognitive remediation, offer only limited benefits. Finding are also important because they indicate that poor aerobic fitness is a modifiable risk factor for cognitive dysfunction in people with schizophrenia, uh, for which aerobic exercise offer a safe, uh, non-stigmatizing, and uh, side effects free intervention. Finally, our study is also important as it uh, demonstrates that uh, active play video games, such as Xbox Connect, uh, can be successfully integrated into aerobic uh, exercise training programs for people with schizophrenia. and. Um, these uh, devices or equipment can potentially increase both the enjoyment associated with uh, such activities as well as um, attendance rates. Our next challenge is to test whether these results can be replicated uh, under real-world clinical setting conditions um, and uh, also to see whether the improvements that we saw in uh, cognitive functioning uh, actually translate to uh, improvements or enhancement in daily functioning. And if confirmed, uh, the results uh, um, may suggest that this kind of uh, exercises, aerobic exercises, uh, should be integrated as uh, into standard psychiatric care for people with schizophrenia, especially for those uh, suffering from cognitive difficulties.